What do you have? What is that? A seashell? And you got in the pool. I specifically said, don't get in the pool. I'm getting ready to go someplace. Now I gotta dry you off. Hey, what's up garden friends? Jeff here. How's everybody doing? Hope you're doing well. I'm great. Morning's off to a busy start. Have to kind of move at a quick pace. This video is probably going to be maybe discombobulated. I'm not sure. Well, that went missed right in my lens and my face. Baby, it's okay. You're a good boy. Gives me these looks when I give that tone, like the you did something wrong tone, and then I feel horrible about it. See, he didn't actually, I was just joking around. It's not a big deal. You can swim if you want to, Turbo. Yes, things are a mess. Maybe this will have been resolved in last week's video. I don't know. I'm filming this video in the middle of filming last Saturday's video. Just the joys of internet and scheduling. Toby, you're gonna say hi? Yep, okay, good boy. All right, so here's what I have going on this week. Gathering up supplies because I'm going to be heading over to my baby sister's house to plant up a couple of spring containers. And really the main reason I'm going over is because they got a puppy. They both are at work all day and I figured I had those extra plants to use. They have a couple planters that could use some color. Figured I'll go over there, let the puppy out, let their dog out. The dogs can run around and play for an hour or so while I do a little bit of yard work. Really just getting a couple of planters thrown together and get to enjoy some puppy time. I've got some stuff here. I don't think I need this trowel, but I'll take it just in case. And I'm going to need to go buy a nursery or hardware store, something on the way there to get some plant tone or biotone, something to put into the containers. They've had the same soil in there for a few years, so it needs to richen it up and uh, probably grab some more plants for their containers. And I'll probably get some because I want some as well. And at some point there's supposed to be really bad storms. That's why things might be discombobulated and all over the place because I have to move at a fairly quick pace. I don't have a ton of time for editing this week. Today, as you're watching this, I will be just coming home from a wedding and uh, I'm probably gonna be very tired. So if I'm not replying to comments, that's why. That's what's going on. Load the car up and head out to a nursery. Figure I need to run all the errands before I go over to their place. Once the puppy's out, I don't wanna have to wrangle it and get it back in the crate and leave again. So I need to get Everything's sorted out beforehand and I have to do it fast too. What I didn't realize until I started gathering up the plants was that these, they're already going. Even some of the tulips are opening, which is not ideal, right? When transplanting bulbs, it's best to do it before the blooms start going, but oh well, here we are. It's free. Also threw a flat of pansies in here. Just to have some extra, figured I'd bring them. Just head to the hardware store. I was debating bringing some extra pots like i have some extra ceramic pottery this, it doesn't stay in there the little tabs that are up there those have been broken for years i'm gonna have to just spitball ideas while i'm there because i did remember that I might be able to go back next week which will just be a few days ago from when this video comes out and do some more work i just eh, well we'll talk about it when we get there first need to head to a nursery probably the hardware store because it's the closest place and pick up some more plants okay first stop Walmart. That well, it says Walmart on the building down there. Will probably be very, very brief because one, I doubt they have much. They never do. Not the ones out here, anyways. Lots of y'all send me pictures from your WalMarts with tons of amazing plants, but that's never been the case here. Well, it hasn't been in like a decade. It's early in the season, so I doubt there will be much in there. But you never know. It's a quick in and out so may as well check it out since I'm right here oh good it's windy that's great for filming it's a nice breeze right across the microphone huh. well they've got some of these and all those there's a lot of house plants in there but there's also a lot of people hanging around so I can't really film in there dianthus pansies hanging baskets with violas those are cute those are really cute and uh, their version of the drop and grows that Lowe's has. These, these look nice, they're smaller. They're also five, six dollars cheaper than the ones that Lowe's. Things were 17, I don't know why it says 15.88 there when the tag down there says 9.97, but hey, whatever. Random hydrangea just chilling out there. Hyacinth, tulips, nice looking stuff. I wouldn't bother with these tulips. Those are only gonna look nice for like a week or so. Everything else, I don't know. Oh, we've got some mums. 
I, mums can be pretty any time of the year. That's fine. No, it's not. Just kidding. That would drive me. That's, that's fall. Don't do That's fall. <laughs> my brain can't handle that. That doesn't work with my OCD. I love these, by the way. Grape hyacinth. Those are fun. Really sturdy little bulbs. Throw those in the ground. You'll have them for years. They're just fun little plants. And Martha Washington geraniums. Okay, and there's orchids and things inside. I'm not going to talk. I'm just going to show them to you real quick. Was that fun? Did you enjoy the little silent quick tour of the house plants? I'm out here looking at the shrubs. I am intrigued by these photinias. It's not a plant you see for sale around here all that often. It says they're hardy to zone six. That has not been my experience. I've tried photinias on three different occasions. When we have a bad winter, they die every single time. This is zone six, so I'm gonna say zone six, probably not. I, I see people grow them further south in the state, though. A warmer, like solid 6B into 7A. Possibly. We're right on the line of 6B, 6A. You never know what our winters are going to be like. They just, they don't look great, but they're also not that expensive. And they really, I think they just need to be watered. I could get a few of those. I don't know what I'm, where I'd put them, but that's not, who cares about that? I can figure that out later. The red tip photinias. New growth comes out, this beautiful scarlet red, evergreen, have nice flowers on them. In the springtime, the Fraser's red tip is more colorful. And there's a person behind me. This is getting awkward. I will cut back later, see what I decide to do. Didn't do it. It was tempting, but I didn't do it. The, like, why buy a shrub if I don't know where I'm going to put it, right? It's neat. Oh, yeah. it's been very windy. Tree down. Redford pear, who cares? Those don't matter. They're terrible. They're taking over the place. That's not a tree to cry over falling down as long as it doesn't hurt anybody. The, I don't have the sign. And the photinias, they, in my opinion, only look nice if they're extremely full, if they're bare and twiggy, I guess that's true for most shrubs. They don't look good if they don't have a lot of foliage on them. So uh, I decided not to. Wanted to, just because it's a shrub I really love. But knowing what I know about growing them doesn't make sense. I'm gonna grab my green tea and head to Lowe's. Very windy, mic's close to my face. Might be breathy, I don't know if it is. I apologize. At Lowe's, look at all that, there's so much. Surprised to see Bonnie have its own stand just for pansies and violas. Oh, it's not just pansies and violas. They have some osteospermums, and some calabrax, lobelia. Yeah, there's some loud trucks moving around here. I just can't help but wonder, like, what? why is this special? Why do they get their own display? What for? They're just violas and pansies. I'm not seeing anything special about them. They look nice. Oh my, like, kind of pricey. 30 bucks for a basket of pansies and dusty meller. Yellow pansy and what? And blue pan. Not even, I don't, why? Why is that $30? And six fifty for just one of these? How? I don't, my, I, this doesn't make sense. I'm just going to assume that there's something going on there that I don't know about and I don't understand also this is what see those tomatoes yeah it's way too early way 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 too early this is probably from last week we had a dip into the upper 20s they look like they'll actually probably be okay they need to be marked down though 98 for the lobelias and the rest of the pansies are 590 so it was just that one over there was 650 i don't i still don't get it whatever not going to harp on that it's not why i'm here it's just Lots of color. Look at the plants. See what might look nice in these planters. I had a realization. It's that they have a puppy, which means I also have to be mindful of not planting things that are toxic. They're going to be within reach of the puppy. So have a flat of Supertunia Vista bubblegums here. Surprised to see those out. Usually don't see those out till late May. They are stocked. Like surprisingly stocked. It's nursery like this. Not usually this full of plants until like mid to late April, at least as far as the summer annuals go. I'm seeing coleus and impatience, like double impatience things that I don't, I would like to buy, but I just have a bad feeling. So here's the deal with the shrubbery here. Pardon all the background noise. You know where I am. I'm outside. There, there are people around me. I forgot what I was saying. I'm really, I think I just wanted to show off the coral knockout roses. I love this color. Isn't that beautiful? I love corals probably one of my favorite colors that's I'm obviously biased there but yeah things like Easter lilies and just a lot of the, the, the euphorbias those are nice they make great 
plants have near containers for texture, but just not a great idea with the dog. I'm thinking maybe some roses? I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to walk around, see what I can find, and we'll pick back up at the house. You see it? You see it? Look, well, you've already seen those. Look, at, there's so much color in here. The bar smelled fantastic the entire ride home. These are, well, they're for me. Coral knockout roses. Otherwise, there's really only, only a couple other things in here that you hadn't seen. I need to get everything unloaded out to the backyard here, and then it would appear that the umbrella is not fixed yet. Might try and fix that for them. It broke last time I was here, and it was really windy, so I just carried it into the garage like this, the cord that moves it up, and I need to worry about all that. I'm gonna unload everything, and then bring the dogs outside. I don't want to be going back and forth with the puppy running around. I want to be able to keep my eyes on it at all times. I'm so excited to get going with this and to play with the puppy. So it's getting kind of hot. I need to take my pants off. It's way too warm for pants. Oh, there she is. Hi, Nala. I think I'm going to carry you outside. Probably a safe bet that you're going to piss everywhere if I let you run around. Okay. It, oh, she's gone. Hi. Hello. Hello. Okay. All right. Let's go outside. Yeah, I know. You probably need to go potty, don't you? Hey, Lou. Uh, what you doing in there? That's not for you. Yeah, it's got a holly tone in it. Dogs love that stinky stuff. I'm going to let them... Her collar. It's in my pocket. I forgot to put her collar on. Here, sweetie. Come here. You actually... You need to go potty. First thing you should be doing is go in the grass. Go potty. Nala. Come on, Nala. Come on. Let's go to the grass. Let's go potty. You have to go potty. I know. I'm happy to see you, too, but you really need to do your business. All right. Did her thing. She went potty. Took her back in the house, brought her back out. That's, you know, the routine. Get him outside, go, get back in. Housebreaking, fun. And water, you guys good? You just gonna run around and be dogs for a while and plant some stuff up? Does that sound like a plan? Hopefully, I have the tripod and the good camera, but I'm hesitant to set it up because you got a couple balls of crazy here who are being surprisingly calm. But I don't, I feel like that's not gonna last very long. What do you have? What's in your... Took my eyes off you for like two seconds. What's in there? You have toys out here. You don't have to... Okay, all right. Yeah, it's not chew on rocks. And I don't have my lens cleaning cloth with me, so uh, hopefully that didn't just ruin every shot for the rest of the time I'm here. So here's Morgan with here. Two Pinky Winky Hydrangeas. Hydrangea trees, standards. There are a couple of alliums planted down beneath inside those containers. That's because I helped them with some landscaping stuff last summer. They didn't like the alliums in the front yard. So I said, well, you don't have to throw them away. Let's just pop them in these pots back here. They'll come back. Alliums, super sturdy. And they, well, there they are. They've come back. They need some cleanup. There's, there's, there's a lot going on over here. Not entirely certain what's going on with this brick. There was a dahlia in there last year. So I'm guessing maybe she put that in there to hold the dahlia up. That's what I'm thinking. Solar lights are looking great. I think these are going to need a prune. I also need to get their water set up. That's why I brought the uh, pliers and plumbers tape with me so I can get water going. Louie loves shadows. You might see him bouncing around chasing shadows a whole bunch while I'm over here. The soil that's in these could use a refresher. Really, I'm, I wasn't anticipating this. This is how things go when you're gardening, right? Looking at these, I would say it would probably actually be best to pull them and replant them just because they've sunken down so far. But I'm not doing that. I didn't bring enough soil with me to do that sort of thing. But I do have spillers to go in there which aren't going to be able to come over the side. I can add soil to it though on a hydrangea standard. That shouldn't be an issue. Sometimes you have to go out rotting out the trunk of the tree and whatnot. But this is a very warm spot so I'm not concerned about adding probably an inch and a half of soil to top dress in there. I think it should be fine. Have some holly tone here, which dogs always love the smell of. What did you do? What you, is that your tag? You got your tag, honey? I'm gonna be blending that in with the soil as well. Hydrangeas, holly tone, good way to go. I was trying to find plant tone or garden tone or just anything that's meant to bring some life back into the mix. If you can't find those things, you can grab a handful of garden soil, mix it in there, and that will help liven things up. Not too much. You don't want things to get mucky in there, but just a little bit to help bring some life back into the container mix. Generally a smart thing to do when they've been in the pots for more than a year or two. You usually have to liven that soil back up. Daffodils, they're set over here, ready to go. They're pretty much done blooming. I guess maybe you should just start planting these up and then talk about them and talk about what else is going on over here. Yeah, that might be the right way to do it. Okay, or is that, this is gonna be a problem. Those aren't for you. This can be a learning opportunity. Those aren't for you, good girl. I don't think she knows what that means, but it worked out. Get things going, and I get this dahlia 
out of here, lift that up, shake the soil off, and the rest of this should be pretty self-explanatory, right? That was the lid to a tiki torch. My audio on, there's so much going on right now, I haven't been good about checking that. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you, man, she wants that holly tone so bad. That's not for you. <laughs> you gonna be my helper? You be my helper, honey? Oh wait, no, don't do that bad. Down, down. So hard to remember when they're so freaking adorable that you also have to be teaching them what they can and can't do. I don't know if you noticed, there's not a lot of landscaping here in this yard. So these dogs aren't really trained to not just destroy gardens. They like to dig, which is, you know, it's just dogs being dogs. I'm going through and scoring the surface of this mix in here just enough so that I can work those bulbs down below it. And of course, before I put the bulbs in, come in with the holly tone. I'm gonna be using a pretty generous amount here. Try and teach the dog, hey, keep your face out of here. Don't dig into the plant. As I fill the container with things that smell like chicken poop that just drives dogs crazy, creating a forbidden fruit here for them. It's all very deja vu. We've just did this in my garden. Well, what's deja vu? He isn't the planter, even though it did just do something very similar in my garden not too terribly long ago. It's the not being able to see my viewfinder because of the sun. Same thing that happened when I planted these up at my house. Just like when I planted these up in my yard, gonna go from biggest to smallest, biggest, tallest to shortest. That's what I meant. Not terribly concerned about planting depth since these are already going and doing their thing. And this is all going to need to be lifted in a few weeks anyways and thrown into the landscape. I suppose need might be extreme sometime by I would say June, something like that. That would be a good time to try and get these into the landscape. The main thing that you have to think about when it comes to planting depth with bulbs has to, a lot of it has to do with their overwintering and the sturdiness of what is above ground, right? If they're up too high, then the whole things can just come tumbling down. Generally that white area that's in there from the old soil line, that's what needs to be covered. I know you can see it sticking up right here probably, but I'm gonna be adding a little bit of soil into here. So that should cover it up enough. I just don't wanna tear into the roots of the hydrangea all that much for some plants that are gonna be done blooming in just a couple of weeks. This is, I suppose, a little bit different than the ones I did before because I'm splitting these in half instead of going all the way around because of the alliums. Something that, this is nifty, look at this. I forgot to bring a cardboard or something to get all the soil and the mess in, try and keep up the patio, and they had a litter box sitting out here. I don't know why, but it's a huge litter pan, and I, that's, it's really nifty. That's something I may end up doing at home. Problem with the cardboard, I just use like, you know, cardboard trays you have from like Sam's Club, Costco, those sorts of things. They're nifty, but eventually they get wet, they fall apart. That shouldn't be an issue with the plastic with the litter box. If I were to use that, I'd probably drill some tiny holes in the bottom just so that water can escape should I leave it out in the rain, which I, I, I would, that's what I would do. I forgot to grab the petunias. Not sure if I'll be doing three or four of these in these containers. It'd be nice for these to be full of petunias over the summer. That'll look great coming down the sides, but also I just, I don't, I feel like the, isn't the, isn't the puppy probably just going to destroy those as they come down the sides? I'll figure that out as I go. I think three would probably be best. One, two, three. Yeah, that would work. I was about to say how impressed I am that this puppy is leaving the plants alone. But as I was saying that, she was spitting out a petunia flower. Oh, rather impressed for being so young. I, all I had to do is say, uh-uh, nope, not for you. She dropped it. That's why the non-toxic part is important. I don't want her chewing on anything that's gonna make her sick. Petunias, pansies, they're safe. The rest of the stuff that's in here, I would not recommend, but they're further back. He's pretty good about sticking with playing with her toys, so I'm not all that concerned. I'm going to let that be up to them, though. If they decide that they are concerned about those plants with the dog, they can pull them out. All right, I have three petunias left and a gap that's too small to squeeze them all into before I put the next Super Petunia Vista bubblegum in, and I don't want to take any home with me, so I'm going to pack these in really tight. Like, really really tight really squeeze those in there together you get another one make it fit there we go okay i think that's pretty good that's as good as it's going to get one thing i should have done before i started this was going and clean out the alliums i have my snippers with me but i don't think that those are necessary really these things they generally just pull right up all right and there's that daffodils in the back tulips in the middle 
some hyacinths popping up there. Matrix Morpheus, Morphe, blah, blah. Matrix Morpheus mix. Pansies and Supertunia Vista bubblegums. Nothing too complicated, pretty quick and easy. I'm gonna do this to the other one and then uh, talk some more about some other things, do some more planters. Now, just kind of going with the flow here while the dogs run around and burn off some energy. Huh? What do we think? Aren't those beautiful? What a nice improvement. Drastic improvement. It's so nice seeing all the color down here. It got extremely windy while I was doing this. I don't even know how much more I'm going to be able to film out here if those gusts start picking up again. You're not going to be able to hear anything I say. Which made it difficult to get the bulbs in this one to stand upright. But I think I got the soil packed in there well enough that they should be good pretty sure the shape of the root ball in here did make it so that it was difficult to get the vista bubble gums in a perfect triangle by only having three of them in here but the nice thing about the vista bubble gums bubble gum vista is that they are so incredibly vigorous that when they are planted slightly asymmetrical in a container by the time they fill out you really can't tell and it's really it's not that far off right i mean one two three that's actually a lot better than I thought. While I was down here at eye level, it looked pretty rough. But when I'm looking closer at it, that's not too bad. I'm not going to do any pruning on the daffodils, even though I would like to. I want to make sure that the flower stalks on those shrivel up on their own to rebuild their energy. All these bulbs can go into their landscaping when they're done with them. Do at home, they have some spots in their front yard where I think those would look just great. So when it's time to plant these up with summer annuals and just lift those out, and drop them where they want them in the front yard. And now, last thing I need to do is give these a rejuvenation prune. I'm gonna cut off probably a third from the tops of each one of these. And then I have a rose over here that I think would be fun to plant up, but there's no hole in the container and I don't have my drill. I don't, I don't know where theirs is, so that might be a project for another time, unfortunately. I really wanted to get that done. I thought that would've been a nice surprise to come home to. Now I gotta think about it. Hey bud, you really think that's a good idea? He's chasing a bee around. That's not gonna end well for you. I don't know why, why do dogs do that? Tucker, remember Tucker? Been around the channel for a while. You may remember my old, uh, uh, Nala, down. Nala, no. Good girl. Good listener for only being, I think she's nine weeks old, maybe 10. Tucker, passed away in 2020. He was obsessed. He would chase the bees around. He'd eat them. And then he'd get this horrible, sad look on his face. Like, what just happened? Well, you just got your ass kicked in the mouth by a bee, you dumb dumb. Not made the association yet. Pain means don't. I did get these cut back. I had to cut them back further than I thought thought I was going to need to. There's a lot of dead wood in there. Any wood that was brown and hollow, that just, you cut it out. No reason to keep it, right? The holdup with this container here that I picked up to use for that rose tree is that I don't have my drill with me. I have a screwdriver. Because with these containers, you're supposed to be able to just pop these. Hold, yep, there we go. One more. There we go. Worked out. Didn't even need a drill. I would prefer there to be some more drainage than that, but it's okay. There's some nice indentations here on the sides of the pot so that if water pools up, can run out. I was trying to find pot legs for this, but I didn't see any. Isn't that a nice pot? Nice character to it. It's not so... Okay, okay. Excuse you, Louie. I think it fits their aesthetic. I got that to put this beautiful rose tree in. This container I filled with garbage before I found this to use to put things in. It's just a knockout rose, standard easy to grow good plant for people who are just learning to do things i don't like to use you know what i'm gonna save that get this potted up and talk about it roses in contain oh i need to, need to got, gotta get this plastic off of here too i don't why did i usually you wait to do that so that if you get dirt all over the side of the container it doesn't mess it up oh well this is a 16 inch wide Allen Roth container. I didn't see a tag on it at the store, so I don't I don't remember what it was called. Get this filled up a lot of the way with some nice, well-drained, organically rich potty mix. This is the Miracle Grow Organics blend. I would have liked to have added some rose tone in here, but didn't see any of that at any of the places I went. When I'm planting up roses in a container, I like to use a soil blend that has, well, for one, a lot of organic material in it because roses like things nice and rich and also really, really sharp drainage. It needs to hold on to moisture at the same time though, right? It's not a cactus blend. So having a blend where you're seeing like some chunks of bark in there and just some composting material, that's usually a good way to go with roses if you have them in a pot. I know I should be focused on the planter. How often do you get to pot up a rose with an adorable puppy sitting right next to everything? Okay, she left. 
back to the rose. Not adding any of the holly tone either. Like I mentioned, rose tone would be the direction I would go with this or plant tone, that would be fine too. Try and do this without making a mess. I don't want to have to hose off this entire patio when I'm done. How's that level? Say that is perfect. I don't need to loosen that root ball. It's not root bound at all. I'd say that just moving it around the little bit that I did just then should be all it needs. I'm going to be mindful that it's centered. Is that something I'm not always great about at home, but I have to remember this is for someone else, so make it nice. And then the fun part, the backfill, hopefully without spilling. I don't want to have to clean up at the right level. They're going to want to be able to soak this with the hose without having water spill and go and pour dirt all over the place. Ah, so close. I was hoping I would be able to get this filled in without having to pop open the other bag. That's just because I don't want to take an open bag of potting soil home with me. At the same time though, I can just leave that potting soil here. I'm sure it will get used at some point. I had forgotten. Like, my God, they have the best freaking water pressure I've ever seen out of a garden hose before. And actually, I'm gonna dial it down. You see these two? All over that hose. Okay, so that's all done. What do we think? You like it? I like it. Not something you'd see in my yard, probably. So it's good to mix things up. Something a little bit different. I do like the way this looks. I think that pot is beautiful. Red double knockout rose, double red, no, it's a red double flowered knockout rose. That's what it is. Spring containers looking great. Got the patio hosed off. I did realize I just missed a spot, but this one right here, you can't use a hose around them. It's just, it's impossible. And I don't want to have to dry another dog off. So that's fine. It's gonna start raining here not too long anyways. That'll rinse it off. Yeah, this is a nice little color in the corner. Knockout roses, super sturdy. Tough shrubs, great for beginners. If you just want something that's gonna keep flowering and come back every year, as if you're in zone six or higher, it might be hardy to zone five, but I know in a container, zone six or seven, probably a safer bet for overwintering them outdoors. Oh good, and it's right at biting level for the puppy. Another reason, a rose. Not gonna hurt the puppy, and it has thorns, so that <laughs> might help deter her from chewing on it. She's being great though. Really, knowledge is just, you're a fantastic puppy. Very well behaved. But that was an overall theme out here, trying to keep things simple. The people, well, this is my sister. I haven't made that a secret. My sister and my brother-in-law, it's their first home. They're not really familiar with gardening. They know the basics, but I think it's nice when you're trying to encourage people to garden. Great to start them off with easy plants. Hydrangea trees, easy. Super Tunia Vista bubblegum, foolproof. Kind of. I shouldn't say that. Don't want to jinx it. Knockout roses. They're nice, rewarding plants. We keep them watered. Even if you're not great about the fertilizing, they'll probably continue to look nice for you. That's what's so great about them. When I was at the nurseries thinking about things I could get to underplant the rose with and some other things to underplant the hydrangea trees over here with, I stuck with the Vista bubblegums because like I said, you just can't go wrong with them. They're abundant. They make people happy. I uh, had a pot picked out to go next to this one that I was going to throw a tater tot arb inside of or a sky pencil holly, just a little green bush for some extra structure and some color. It's nice to have some green shrubbery around. There's this backyard's very bare right now. I'm sure it won't be by the end of the year. Not if I get to have my way with it anyways, it'll be looking a lot different. Lots of open space though for the dogs. I ended up not do <laughs> deviated. I ended up not doing any type of shrubbery because, or evergreen shrubbery, I should say, because they're not going to flower, not going to see much as far as growth out of them. And it's really important to me that they're encouraged. And when you're getting started with gardening, people like to see growth and they like to see flowers. It makes you feel good about what you're doing when you can see the progress. If I throw a little, just a little green tater tot arb in a pot, it's not likely to look any different <laughs> between now and this winter. It's just going to keep looking like a little green ball, which I think is fun and great for landscaping when you want things that are low maintenance. But for them, I thought it would be best to just stick with things that are going to grow, not be high maintenance and be rewarding. That's the overall theme here, so keep it simple. I also, I thought about underplanting this with some Creeping Jenny or maybe Lemon Coral Sedum, but ultimately I really decided that I think this does look nice just on its own. You have to turn the camera at a bit of an angle there for you to see it, but. That looks good as it is. Rose tree can stand on its own. You don't have to have something coming over the edge of a container. And those Vista bubble gums, they're gonna do plenty. Those will be staying in there until the fall time and the other stuff will get moved out. Obviously, I think I already mentioned that when it's time to turn these into summer containers. And I really like this pot. 
this has been fun. This is, you know, at my house, I have a certain style that I stick with and it's nice being able to do things for other people, like a red rose. You wouldn't see me planting that in my yard. I think red is a difficult color to work with. It's jarring. It's, it's like, I don't know how to put it. It's sharp, right? It's not very soft. It's a more difficult color to pair things with too. There's yellows, those pair well, and there are plenty of other colors, but they tend to lend themselves more towards warm tones, like fall type of tones and it's spring so there's plenty of yellow in spring you know what i mean i just I, I wasn't putting it together in my head so i thought we'll just leave this as it is maybe something solid green if they decide they want a trailer in there no sweet potato vines anything like that gotta wait till they know whether or not this puppy's gonna be chewing up the plants those can make them sick the ipomias are not good for the doggies if you moved it all there was one bee one bee over there you're still fixated on it lou you ever gonna find it? If, yeah, maybe not. I hope not. I am going to get online and find some feet to put underneath this. Probably something really nice and tall and elaborate to help hold it up higher. And next time I'm over here visiting, I'm gonna bring my drill with me with a nice big bit on it because the water coming out of the bottom of this thing took a pretty long time. I don't think those two tiny holes are quite what I would want for a rose. The drainage is super important. But I think that this blend, the Miracle Grow Organic Mix, pretty good stuff. I've used it before. I really like it just doesn't come in big enough bags for it to be worthwhile using at my home. And it is batch by batch. One of those things where I, sometimes I grab a bag, I'm like, this just feels like mud. It's sopping wet, it's heavy, I don't want it. These bags were nice and light, which means that they were full of plenty of material that's going to help them drain well. Ah, she's so stinking cute. Okay, you know what? I think that's gonna do it. I'm spent, I'm losing my voice from all the pollen and I've just been filming non-stop the last few days so that I can do this wedding thing that I'm in. I hope everybody's doing well, having a great day and a great life. Everything's just going absolutely beautifully for you. And comment down below, say hi. How's everybody doing? Hope your gardens are going well. The further we get into the month, the more people are able to get outside and do some plantings. Hopefully you're seeing some fun stuff at your nurseries. Do you have some favorites as far as the standards with the roses go? I know landscape roses, like knockout roses, not always popular in the gardening community because they're just considered so basic, but basic has a place. I don't mind a plant that's fuss-free. I Well, okay, I shouldn't say fuss-free. It's a rose. You still have to do some rose-type things with it, but a great plant for beginners. If you want something simple that's going to add color, you don't feel like buying new hibiscus trees every year to throw in your planters, this will keep coming back. Why not? I think it's a great way to go. And some red out here will help attract the hummingbirds. I don't know how much hummingbirds will like the rose itself, but just having that extra splash of color, I think it's just, it's nice. And this looks great in that corner. I think it's a good fit for this patio, or for their style. I want to take the tag off that trunk so bad, but I'm not going to, because I want them to be able to read it. Now it's time to say goodbye to Nala. Say bye-bye, Nala. Bye-bye, honey. You're so cute. Yes, you are such a good girl. Bye, Lou. Violet, nothing. No, he's fixated. You need to go potty. It's time to go back in your crate. I gotta go home. I got things to do. Yay, you just had a two hour playtime. What you whining about? What are you whining about, silly? Go inside, do some treats and some training and then get back to nap time. I think she needs a nap, which is perfect because like I said, it's time for me to go. And of course, as always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye bye.